Hey everyone, welcome back to Dan's Chess Lounge. So today I'm going to be discussing some traps and zaps in the Sicilian defense. It's one of my favorite openings to play these days, and so I figured we'd cover some uh, nice traps in it. And so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to be working out of uh, the Traps and Zaps 2 book by Bruce Pandolfini. And as you guys know, he was one of Josh Waitzkin's first trainers and coaches. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into it. You have e4, c5, knight f3, a6, b4 here. Uh, white would like for black to go ahead and capture the pawn here so he can get a, a big center, get d4 in, have a very good center. And he does that. d4 is played. Knight f6, e5, uh, puts the question to the knight wants to dislodge the knight and he gains space knight g5 here anytime a player plays knight g5 uh, you can expect to be some tricks somewhere involved here uh, especially on the light squares around f7 area bishop d3 h6 hits the knight you have the knight can still jump in here because it's uh, it's backed up by the bishop so the bishop and the knight is covering that h7 square queen h5 queen e7 tries to protect the f7 square and right here i'm going to go ahead and ask you guys to pause the video uh, white has a nice tactic right here and let's see if you guys can find it Okay, I'm going to go ahead and play the move. The best move here is knight captures on f7. And at this point here, black's position is just completely ruined. Uh, there's not a really good way for a black to continue the game. Uh, it's only nine moves in, but he's pretty much lost. Um, if the queen captures, then you would have uh, bishop g6 and that's going to win the queen there so if we go back and let's see here if the rook moves because the rook is under attack so if the rook moves out the way then you have knight captures h with the discovered check on the king if black tries to block then you have bishop captures there and the knight is still hitting the rook so the king moves out the way and now you have bishop g5 so basically and that wins the queen there so basically going all the way back to um, here knight takes f7 the game is just completely lost and black's biggest blunder was when he played h6 here h6 doesn't really do anything it's a wasted move because the knight can still hop into h7. So it's not really kicking the knight out the way. And after the queen went to h5. If the pawn captures the knight. Then he, the queen wins the rook. So h6 was the, was the biggest culprit there. Okay let's go ahead and check out another one. Alright this one here is from the black side. And I like to go over traps for both sides uh, just because it gives you a nice overview and uh, feel for the actual opening. So this one here is G6 here. This is a, uh, a hyper accelerated dragon. This is a, a very good opening. I play this opening myself. Bishop B5, Bishop G7, D3, and go ahead and pause the video there's a very nice uh, move here that black can play okay if you guys hope you guys found the winning move I'm gonna go ahead and play what the move is Queen a5 this attacks the bishop here it's check the knight comes out to block the check and also you think it protects the bishop, but it really doesn't because black can play 
bishop captures knight and now you can snap off the bishop there on b5 so the mistake in this one here is white playing the bishop to b5 right here uh, because the bishop is not attacking anything it would be different if black had played knight to c6 on move number two but he didn't uh, then that would be like the Rosalimo. But so instead, the bishop is not attacking anything and it's not defended by any other piece. So that was a, pretty much a wasted, wasted move there. So that was the culprit. Okay, let's go ahead and check out one more. E4, C5, Knight F3, G6. You got another hyper accelerated dragon d4 bishop c4 now you have d5 which blocks tries to close up the center and right here you have e takes d bishop takes and you have a very nice move from white here queen a4 and see the bishop blocks the check and right here I'm gonna go ahead and ask you guys to pause the video uh, white has a very nice move here let's see if you guys can find it okay I'm gonna go ahead and play the winning move here is knight e5 and guess the queen is under attack so white is willing to give up his queen Let's see what would happen if black took the queen. Then you would have bishop captures f7 checkmate. So the checkmate is definitely more important and <laughs> than the queen. So that would be a blunder if black took the queen. So if he doesn't do that, let's see what would happen if he played mm, queen d7. Then you would have knight captures bishop knight captures and d5 d5 would win the knight because if the knight moves out the way um, bishop b5 would win the queen for example if the knight goes to e5 here bishop g5 bishop b5 and that would win the queen right there so then the knight couldn't move. So black would just basically lose a piece here. So, Okay, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video today. I'm going to be going over more traps and zaps in the Sicilian coming up. Stay tuned. Don't forget to like, comment, and please subscribe. Till next time.